Plus, we know markets are totally manipulated. The Goldman Sachs high-frequency trading scandal shows that Goldman puts a computer server next to the New York Stock Exchange. They pick a price. The computer does trades to get price the, uh, mar stocks to that price. It's not price discovery. It's not supply and demand. It's market rigging. And they use it when they didn't get their money to program through high-frequency trading a crash. Then they got their money. How is that different from putting a gun to somebody's head and saying, give me your money? Anyway, Stacey Herbert, thanks for being on the edge. Thank you, Max. Now, let's go to Austin, Texas, the epicenter of the most wildly successful talk show radio host of the past 10 years, the indefatigable Alex Jones. Alex Jones, welcome to On the Edge. Max, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me on. All right, Alex Jones, you are a media maverick that has uncovered so much news that at first has been ridiculed as conspiracy theory, but then often becomes mainstream fact. So give us a little preview here. What are, what's the most important stories right now that people are unwilling to believe uh, and are ridiculing as, uh, but will soon become mainstream fact? What do you think? Well, a story that I've been talking about the last year or so is that uh, central governments around the world, controlled by the private central banks, have been changing laws and regulations to take the uh, general population's pension funds. And uh, now we're starting to see articles in Bloomberg and Business Week and other places where they're pushing the idea of the government taking over pension funds to, quote, prop up uh, failed banks. And so now we're starting to uh, see a lot more uh, of uh, that come out uh, in the news. And, of course, uh, we've been talking for a long time about the fact uh, that the central banks want to wreck economies so they can consolidate uh, control. And uh, we're now... Uh, seeing that unfold as many of the states go bankrupt, the counties, the cities go bankrupt. Some sheriff's departments in Texas and Ohio are being forced to lay off more than half of their deputies. Same thing with police departments. And so now they're having to be honest and tell the public to arm themselves, to protect themselves. We're starting to see this road warrior uh, type collapse uh, unfold uh, because of the predatory casino a gulag economy that you talk so much about, Max. Yeah, talk a little bit about this. In other words, in Ohio, a couple of things I read on your site today, Infowars.com. As you just mentioned, uh, you've got in Argentina, the government is seizing the pension accounts. And as we see now, the kind of uh, um, empire stealing and building that the U.S. has done overseas, they're now doing it inside the U.S., and we're seeing that Matt Taibbi, I don't know if you saw this article this past week, he's talking about Alabama and the fact that they've got uh, bankers on Wall Street coming in there and doing a whole debt uh, you know, loading scheme that has bankrupted the county. So you've got the situation in o Ohio where the people are being asked or they're being, it's recommended that they actually arm themselves. Talk a little bit more about that. Well, what's happening is, and we've seen this in Argentina, we've seen it in Nigeria, we're starting to see it in Greece. This has been done hundreds and hundreds of times. And in 2002, the BBC broke the secret IMF World Bank documents around the time Joseph Stiglitz, the Nobel Prize winner for economics, left. Those documents were released where the IMF and World Bank, as basically holding companies for the private central banks, uh, like J.P. Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, and others, how they go into third world nations, set up a governmental system that is designed to fail, set up a debt system that is designed to fail so they can consolidate and uh, take over the nation. And so the very same system is now being deployed uh, against Iceland and the United States and many, quote, first world nations. And so we see income taxes going up. We see carbon taxes and environmental taxes going up. We see sales taxes and taxes on food. I mean, literally hundreds of different taxes uh, being deployed. New York State's trying to pass uh, 84 uh, different taxes right now. So you see the taxes all exploding while the services are being cut. It's like the health care plan is a gift to the insurance companies and banks. It cuts Medicare and Medicaid makes people go out and buy insurance, allows them to lower the standard of care. So you see uh, less and less for the people, uh, but higher and higher taxes, and almost all of it going as interest on the debt to the bankers who created all of this uh, like a parlor trick that a magician would do. And so as Thomas Jefferson and many other founding fathers said, if we ever allow private banks to control the issuance of currency and credit, 
that our progeny uh, or our children would wake up homeless on the continent our forefathers conquered. And so that is now happening. What's been done to the third world is now coming home to roost here in the United States. But the good news is the people are beginning to identify this banking oligarchy as the parasitic uh, criminals that are looting and robbing and raping uh, our society. And so uh, all over the country, uh, crime is exploding because the economy uh, uh, falling apart and the police are too busy out there. And, and this has finally been admitted that police have quotas nationwide. They've been told to squeeze whatever they can out of the citizens that still have jobs. Uh, and so they're not out there going after criminals. And so the public's being raped and robbed and killed uh, by the low-level criminal element, and they have the criminal state robbing them. We talked last year about how more than 10% of Texans, uh, 25 million people, uh, have arrest warrants out for them here in this state for you know, petty tickets and speeding tickets. And so they're throwing the book at the citizens as a form of uh, taxation, but at the same time, all of that money is basically going to the banks. And so we see this predatory system now uh, engaging in cannibalism uh, as even the state itself uh, is uh, now uh, getting smaller, but the overall debt burden is getting bigger. Now, Barack Obama has been hosting a nuclear summit. The New York Times calls it the largest gathering of world leaders since, uh, uh, by, called by an American president since FDR organized the 1945 meeting in San Francisco that created the United Nations. Your thoughts on the summit? Well, I think the most important thing to come out of the summit uh, is that Barack Obama is saying that state to state or country to country nuclear warfare or exchanges is a declining threat and that terrorists with nuclear weapons is an increasing threat and the number one threat that the United States faces. This is asinine. We know Al Qaeda is a CIA creation. We know most of this terrorism is provocateur or staged. We know a year and a half ago on 888 uh, that U.S. backed, NATO backed Georgian forces launched a provocative sneak attack into South Ossetia. Russia had to uh, you know, basically threaten to respond with nuclear weapons uh, to have uh, NATO forces who were starting to land in Georgia pull back. So uh, I don't agree with this at all. The real threat is state to state uh, nuclear exchanges, uh, the attempt to go in and invade Iran. Uh, that many experts believe could lead to a World War III scenario with China, Russia, uh, and the United States and Israel in the mix. Uh, we have Israel with hundreds of nuclear weapons uh, threatening to use them on people while at the same time denying that they even uh, have them uh, when everybody knows they have them. And then you have this boogeyman being invoked of, of, of turbaned men in caves in Central Asia. They're going to nuke us. And so we've got to give up all of our rights and our liberty and our freedom uh, or the uh, uh, the nuclear armed uh, atomic weapon armed uh, Osama bin Laden uh, is 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 going to come out from underneath our bed at night and uh, basically tear our throats out. So we now see Obama playing more and more the false flag terror card, and we see all these newscasts and news articles, also Hollywood movies coming out about nukes in the United States and terrorists. And I think the establishment is seriously considering some type of limited uh, uh, detonation here in the United States as a pretext to really bring martial law in. I mean, we've always known that's in the cards, but that's going from the back burner to the front burner. And I'm concerned about the military-industrial complex, uh, who's in a lot of trouble right now and being revealed as nothing but errand boys for the private banks, uh, staging a uh, nuclear attack here in the United States or in Western Europe as a pretext to usher in their full Orwellian state.